Hello everyone, it's Chucky Moto here and you join me on a beautiful day in Pennsylvania. I'm off to meet up with my very good friend Walt at Martin Moto in Boyertown and I thought he'd like to join me on the ride. It's a truly glorious day today, mid 60s Fahrenheit, nice blue skies, it was, it was actually raining this morning but uh, mercifully that has gone away, tomorrow is supposed to be even nicer, but I had a few hours today so I thought I'd ride up and meet a friend and maybe just do a little bit of riding together, just, you know it's one of the first opportunities in 2022 that I've had excuse me, I've had to ride. Harleys are loud, aren't they? Don't know if that's any benefit at all. He might be on his way to the same place. Except he's doing it with no helmet or gloves, which means that if he falls off he's gonna hurt really it's gonna hurt an awful lot. His hands are gonna be ground into stumps and his brain's gonna be caved in. I'm sorry, but I uh I absolutely always ride with my gear. But you know, this is America. <laughs> if you wanna if you wanna kill yourself by riding without proper equipment, that's entirely up to you. You know it's been weeks since we've been able to ride. We've had just a ridiculous amount of, of rain and I, I don't want to ride in the rain and also quite a lot of wind as well it's been a very very poor spring you know, and as I record this it's sort of second week of April 2022 and I was really hoping it would have warmed up before now
Oh, someone was just trying to call me. I don't like to be called. I've already been hit in the face by a ton of bugs today. Sometimes they look so big you feel like you need to dodge them. They make a lot of noise when they hit your shield. I can't imagine hit, getting hit in the face with one without the helmet on. I know, right? I mean, I, I can never understand why people won't wear full face helmets. I really don't. I have thought about getting a modular one, especially now that I've sort of stopped using the chin camera. The only real complaint I've heard about those is they tend to be a little heavier than a traditional full face, but it's yeah, not, but, but not anything you can't get used to. Yeah, this piece of crap's heavy anyway, though. This is a cheapo, heavy thing anyway, so... I think that was a bumblebee that just hit my helmet. It sounded like I hit a golf ball. Yeah, that's exactly the problem, right? They're just enormous. Well, I consider myself fortunate. I never really had to deal with that whole Brood X cicada thing the other year. Yeah. I hear they can be really nasty. Yeah, the only time I've ever had to deal with that was actually back in, I think it was 2004, uh, when I was living down in, uh, in um, Delaware County. And it was just terrible. But apparently my wife said that they had a much worse time of it when she was living in Chicago a few years earlier. Now we've been a bit lucky. We had one, uh, one year that was just absolutely insane with the uh, lantern flies. And obviously we had a couple of years where it was stink bug city. Yeah, I still get them. Not nearly as bad as I used to, but they're around. I used to get this... Uh, we used to have this uh, wall air conditioning unit and uh, whenever you turn it on they'd all come pouring out very disconcerting yeah I had that same problem at my old house we had a window air conditioner in the bedroom and uh, pretty much every night we'd go to turn the thing on and be stink bugs coming out of it yeah it's disgusting that kind of Sour milk almondy smell. Yeah. Very appropriate name. Yep. And I guess it was the first year that lantern flies started becoming a problem. We had a lot of them at my place, but last year wasn't too bad. I mean, they were around, but nowhere near the numbers of first year. Yeah. This is a nice road. I'm always fascinated by these old remnants of old brick or uh, old stone buildings. Hmm. I love stone buildings. I suppose when you're out with Steve, you're probably riding along like the clappers. Uh, it's a little spirited, but it's not too bad. Yes, I'm afraid that I don't do the speed to win any justice at all. I've got this thing in drive mode too, and I'm completely content to leave it just where it is. I still have mine in rain mode. Well, you don't see that every day. I'm wearing pants. And playing a, a guitar. Oh man, that reminds me, I was, I forget where I was. Back in here somewhere, and I came across some shirtless guy just wandering the side of the road playing a guitar. <laughs> I, I wonder if that was the same guy. Could well have been, I mean, it's sort of an unusual thing to see. Your engine sounds so smooth. Like a Swiss watch. 
Mine sounds like a tractor by comparison. Uh, everyone keeps asking me when I'm going to put an exhaust on it. I don't want to. Yeah, what for? That whole thing about loud pipes, that's bullshit. Doesn't do anything. This irritates people. No, I mean, it's, it sounds great. Why would you do it? Why would you mess around with it? It's probably a huge aggro as well. Because you'd have to put you'd have to put a full system on there, right? Yeah, yeah, and the ECU and yeah. Yeah, fuck all that shit. I mean, I've got stock pipes on here. They sound just fine, but most of the people that buy these speed twins, they spec it up to the Vance and Hines. I just don't think it's necessary. I mean, it sounds great. Didn't expect that. Gravel. Of course. I like this road. It's got a lot of like lazy corners. Yeah, I love sweepers. My ideal road is sort of, uh, well, obviously really good tarmac. Sort of 45 mile an hour, gentle, not very technical corners. Maybe a slight incline, that kind of thing. And no fucking stop signs. <laughs> There's a pretty cool old church right at the end of this road if you want to stop for pictures or anything. No, I'm good. I'm enjoying the lefties and righties. <laughs> this feels like summer, thank God. I couldn't believe it. Steve and I went out uh, it Saturday. We were up in Reading and we got caught in the snow. Yeah. Um, I was, uh, where was I? I got caught in snow on Sunday. I was actually up um, in the Poconos. I've got to say, well, that Discord of yours has been a stroke of genius. I mean, so much of what we do is because of that. And I kind of like that it's a small, tight knit group. Yeah. Yeah. Now that the weather's starting to break, hopefully uh, we'll be able to get together for more spur of the moment rides. Yeah, I wish I lived a little bit closer. It's like every time I want to do anything, I've got to at least sit there for an hour, which is kind of like a <laughs> I get tired after an hour. <laughs> Well, this is fucking cool. I mean, this is just excellent. There's a trail that runs along down there. Yeah. It's about 10 miles from one end. Well, it's five miles from end to end, but it's the trail just ends. So basically, you got to turn around and walk all the way back if your car's down here. Yeah, it's kind of like the same thing with the Chester Valley Trail, right? It sort of starts at, I think, King of Prussia, and it ends up uh, sort of in Exton, and then it just, that's it. You know, there isn't really anything you can do. That's why Valley Forge is such a good place to walk. So you can take a, a circuit. You know, if walking is your thing. I came down here one day. Uh, I was going. I was planning on walking my dog before all this COVID stuff, and the trails weren't so busy. And um, my wife asked, you know, how long I was going to be gone for. And I jokingly said, like, I don't know. I might walk like ten miles. And she laughed at me and said, you could walk ten miles. So I showed her. And I, <laughs> I walked that trail from one end to the other, and I came back after walking ten miles. Me and the dog were dead for the day. Oh my god. I 
on the new bike seems to be extremely popular on the YouTube channel. Well, that's good. Had a, I don't know, it's like 120 or 130 new subscribers in the past month. That's fantastic. And the, the first impressions video I did of the bike got 15,000 views. Holy shit. The, the ECU refresh video got, I think, 3,000. That's fantastic. That's really good. I'm very happy for you. But it's uh, kind of a little bit of a predicament. You know, I don't want to be pigeonholed into doing only Yamaha MT-09 videos. So now I've got to find a creative way to do both. You know, to keep that, keep the channel the way I want it with my personality and blend in MT-09 content without kind of sickening my existing audience. You need to do Raw Sound Sunday. I get lots and lots of Speed Twin fans who just don't want to see me or hear me. They just want to ride on the bike with a forward view and hear it. If you do that for your bike, you'll you'll retain some of those some of those people that want to just ride vicariously. I mean, th those those Raw Sound Sunday videos I do are by far the most popular. You know, they, I, you almost always get hundreds of views for those, whereas everything else I do gets like 50. <laughs> Which is depressing. I didn't realize they were doing so well for you. That's great. Yeah, they're, they're doing really well. And, they, and because they are actually the same footage I use for everything else, they, they take me 10 minutes to edit. I don't have to do a, a thumbnail because I just use the same one and change the number in the background and I don't have to do anything except top and tail it so it's it's a piece of piss oh shit you're getting multiple usages out of the same footage I never it, never looked at it that way exactly exactly and because you with the uh, the sound is all coming from the mic on the back of my bike so you can't hear my voice and it's perfect bike noise which is all all anybody really wants to hear anyway <laughs> yeah, and if you're using the 360 camera, you've got everything covered. That's right, and so you know, I I just give them a forward forward view. I think that they prefer the um, the horizon locked view as well, because then you sort of see the bike moving, but the horizon not. And I think they like that. Yeah, it's in the studio, or is that a camera setting? What the horizon lock? Yeah, it's uh, in it's in the studio, so you don't have to do it. You can decide after the fact, and it's it's great. It's like you know, it's, it's like a free video. It literally takes me ten minutes to edit them. And we can dip in here, stretch our legs a little bit. I think that's a fine idea. <laughs> 